Sixth grade, we are continuing to work on our graveyard scene, and I'm gonna show you some, uh, how to put some extras into your picture, and then we'll talk a little bit about shading. All right, let's get started. Okay, last week we uh, started to work on our graveyard, and we were doing our fence, and I think I left you in probably a state where you um, that were at school had made some pillars and we started making the uh, area in between so uh, I want to go over real quick uh, putting in a little gate and then we'll talk about some extras and then we'll go from there all right so that over here all right so we can still keep things in perspective and like I said last week um, you always want to start with a flat shape so I like to erase some areas and we're gonna have let's see here this is a little lower all right so I try to keep them on the same level for our shapes so that's pretty flat uh, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a three-dimensional quality for a piece of wood we want to make sure that we're going uh, at the angle going towards our point it's just gonna go out a little ways and then I'm gonna match it up with the other side so we can do that for all these other sides uh, for the gate I kinda like to start with something that's attached so even if I drew a light line on here, that it was going to attach from here to here, uh, I want to keep it pretty level. So lightly, I will come across like that. Even though that's all connected, I will try to make a divider in the middle. All right, And I'm going to get rid of some of the pillar because I have a feeling I'm going to lose some of that when I start to create my gate. So what I can do is take my ruler and try to find about the halfway mark. Um, you know, I can use the road to help with that. So we are looking at a little less, so about in here. So I know that the gate is going to get divided. I also want to start to think about uh, some of the thicknesses of things. So I'm going to try to zoom in on just the gate for right now. We won't have a lot of perspective going on here. But if this was made out of iron of some sort, then I can have it have some type of thickness. Oof, going too fast for you guys here. All right, so the base. We'll go to about there and about there and so I'm gonna to start to make this kind of a tube shape but I know that the divider will be somewhere in here and again the fence the gate can kind of look however you want it to look I'm gonna give mine a little bit of a curve at the top right. so here's where it's gonna be closed can you make it so that maybe it's got an opening to it of course you can um, but right now I'm just kind of getting the outer frame all right and then uh, I'm gonna give it my own unique touch to it so kind of a organic line like so again I want to erase any lines that it's going through the shading will also help with this so I've had that. The fun part of this is trying to repeat that line again. And by me going quicker, probably not going to be 100%. But I'm going to try to match it up into here. Oops. Watching too many things here. And I'm going to try to match it up to this other line over in this area all right 
So there's my design, although just by looking at it, it kind of looks like this side's a little bit bigger, but I'm going to let it roll for right now. I can smooth out these lines when I get more into my detail. And then I'm just going to make some bars that go from the top to the bottom. You can get as fancy as you want. One, two, three, four, five. Try to get about the same. And five. And then I got myself a nice gate. And I can finish up this as well. Um, you know, this can be as high as you want or as decorative as you want. If you um, want to show it open, you could get rid of one of these or have it going off at an angle. We could use our perspective uh, for that. When we're doing um, our extras, and I think I talked about this in the first video, but really uh, you're looking at just adding a flat shape. All right. And so for my tombstones, oops, I probably got to zoom out here, sorry. There we go. So my tombstones, uh, I'm just going to go with a flat shape. I'm not worried about doing the bottom because that's going to be grass. A lot of grave markers are very box-like. They're easy to maintain, or I mean to make. All right, and then I could just do some lines for some grass. You can write on them as well. That's totally up to you. If it's a rounded shape, maybe I start with two edges that are kind of flat. I'm going to try to round this. So here's your front. This is going to have grass in it. So I don't necessarily want to come from here. It might work out that way, but it's pretty much wherever it's going to run into that curve first because there is a little bit of a bend to it. And then I just want to make sure that I only go up. So this should be longer than this line. We don't want them even. We want it to go at an angle. But again, you can play with that a little bit because this will have some grass to it. And when we shade, we can round this out just a little bit more. Could be a unique shape, like a cross. Again, I hope you're taking a little bit more time than I am. I'm kind of rushing through so that you can see what's going on. All right, there's my flat shape. And then I've got a lot of corners that I would draw going in towards the point. Again, I'm going to draw them out as long as uh, or as thick as I want this tombstone to be. All right. And so a lot of them there, all you're doing is repeating what's going on in the front. This goes side to side, side to side. This goes side to side, side to side. This goes up and down. That goes up and down. I kind of want this one on the same line. I kind of messed that up a little bit. So I'm going to make this a little shorter. In there. And then this one goes side to side as well. And then any extra lines you can get rid of. This will go in the back. All right. And then we'll have some grass in for there. Trees are not too bad. You just want to make sure that your branches get a little smaller as they go off. If you find that a branch is getting too thick, really shouldn't be too much thicker than the, than the base, then you kind of just break them off into little sections like so. Maybe this is going to go this way. Maybe I got one that goes this way. And then maybe I've got one like that. So. Once I get into here, I can break these off a little smaller and a little smaller until I've got the nice tree that I want. Be kind of cool to see the moon or the sun rising or the moon setting or 
vice versa. So this could be our light source. You know, we could come up with a um, some type of mansion silhouette. Off in the distance. And you can put as many grave markers on here as you want. I would make sure that um, as they go, they should get a little bit smaller. All right, so don't freehand them like I'm doing right now, but they should get a little tinier and a little tinier as they go off in the distance. That will help with the perspective and it will help with the depth on what you're doing. Okay? As far as shading goes, if we make this our light source, you know, we can have some clouds in the sky. Um, most of the stuff that's facing us is going to be a little darker. So with a pencil, I'm just going to shade a darker value. And then as I go from there, it'll be a little bit of a shadow close to the darker value and then it gets a little lighter as it goes towards our light source. All right, Could be some shadows on the ground. This will have a little shadow because it's hidden. So by adding some of this it will help it get a little bit more realistic. I can make this stuff a little darker. I can kind of blend this out from there. You can go in, adding blades of grass. Might be even a little darker here because there's a little bit of shadow. I could go add bricks uh, onto the front. These would be easy to do. Just got to make sure I've got a line. Oops, that's the same for all of them. And then I could start to draw some mortar lines going up and down as well. All right, those are way off. I can have some lines like this. I could do some bricks, all right? So uh, I'm gonna go back to my original and I'm gonna start to do uh, some shading, but having some tombstones, uh, could even be a broken one, maybe some animals, maybe there's some ghosts. You know, could be a zombie hand or something like that. Finish up your front gate. Work on your extras. Let's get a moon or a sun back here with maybe a, a mansion silhouette. So that'll all be nice and dark in there. All right. I'm going to go back to this one here and continue working on it, adding my values and my shading. And we'll go from there. All right. Go ahead and add those details into your graveyard. You saw how I did some shading. I only did one half of it. Um, it does take me quite a while to get through some of that stuff. But you can see everything that's facing us is going to have a little bit of a black shadow to it. And then onto the ground if you go a little darker with some of the grass. Um, you can make those tombstones however you want. I've seen some interesting ones in my time. Uh, with that moon or sun setting in the background with the silhouette of the, the mansion in the distance. Uh, that's going to be your light source. So a lot of light. Um, it's going to be coming from that direction, or all the light is going to be coming from that direction, um, and then you can shade accordingly. So have some fun with it, uh, add those details in, and then next week 
hopefully uh, we're going to try some live uh, uh, streaming to see how that works and so I'm trying to work out the bugs for that and then uh, we will start something new. All right. We'll uh, see you guys next week.